juntos. How to play. How to set up the game. First, each player chooses one pawn and places it at one of the four corners of the board. Place the four thwarters on the gray arrows. They will follow the direction of the arrow for their first move. Ignore the gray arrows during the rest of the game. Shuffle all the cards and make one pile. Get the spinner ready and you're all set. The goal of the game is for the players to reach the treehouse with as many community cards as possible. The youngest player goes first. When it is your turn, choose one action as described in the rulebook. One option is that you can make your pawn move. To move, spin the wheel and move your pawn the number of steps indicated on the spinner in whatever direction you would like. Then draw a card. If you draw an event card, do what is indicated on the card. If you draw a community card, like this one, keep it with you. The player on your left goes next. The blue player chooses to move. Blue moves four steps, as indicated on the spinner. Then blue draws a card. It's an event card! Move again! The blue player can spin the wheel once more, but does not draw another card. Six steps! Here we go! Next, it's the red player's turn. Red chooses to move as well. Oh, just one step. Ah, an event card. This card protects you against the thwarters. We will see in a moment how to use it. You can keep it with you for now. Finally, it's the green player's turn, and the green player moves one step. Green draws a card. It's a community card. They can keep it. Once each player has had a turn, it's the thwarter's turn. Spin the wheel to make them move. They all will move the same number of steps. In this case, five steps. If they reach an intersection like here, they must go in the direction indicated on the lower gray section where the spinner landed. In this case, it is hacia la izquierda, to the left. If this direction is not available, the thwarter just moves forward. Let's continue to play to see a few more rules. The yellow player chooses to move and moves two steps. Yellow draws a card. It says, Close the east entrance to the treehouse. Take one of the wooden cubes and put it at the entrance on the east side of the treehouse. The entrance is now closed. The blue player already reached the treehouse. So when the blue player chooses an action to move, for example, it makes all the other players move. In this case, every player moves one step. Once you are in the treehouse, you can't draw cards anymore. Now the red player moves six steps. A player or a thwarter that reaches a dead end makes a U-turn. Time to draw a card. Oh, discard one of your community cards. Bye-bye. It's the green player's turn. But instead of moving, the green player chooses to use the card that reads, open a closed entrance to the treehouse. This means that you can reopen the east entrance. Simply remove the wooden cube and the entrance is open. The card is discarded. Everybody has had a turn, so it's time for the thwarters to move. And they move six steps. They will also turn to the right. Oh no! The thwarter touches the yellow player, so the yellow player must go to the wasteland. Oh, the green player is touched too, and has to go to the wasteland as well. And the red player is touched too. Red must go to the... Wait! Do you remember? Red drew a card that could protect them against thwarters. This time, the red player is safe. The card is discarded. 
Now the yellow player will try to get out of Wasteland by spinning a six. Aw, that's not a six. Yellow stays in the Wasteland and doesn't draw a card. The blue player chooses to combine cards as an action. Blue combines and discards three cards of three different categories to get yellow out of the Wasteland. You can see all the different actions you can do when combining cards in the rulebook. Now the red player doesn't move. Wait, even if you move zero steps, you can draw a card. Don't be like red. Don't forget to draw your cards. It's time for green to play. Green has a get out of the wasteland card. Woohoo! Green uses it to get out. To end the game, every player must reach the treehouse. Yellow player is the last one to arrive at the treehouse. Hooray! Now let's count the points. Gather all the community cards that the players collected during the game and look at the combinations you can make in the rulebook. Make the best combinations possible and count your points. Here we have 10 points, 5 points, 1 point, and 1 point. That's 17 points! Not bad! Have fun improving your community together.